Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we'll tell you about five largest aircraft in the US military. Before we start, don't forget to support our channel by pressing the subscribe button below and like this video. Thank you. It's mind-boggling to realize that less than 60 years after the first successful flight of a powered aircraft at Kitty Hawk, United States pilots would be able to transport an exponentially increased amount of cargo and equipment across long distances, even refueling midair. The use of massive, powerful aircraft undoubtedly changed the course of military history, and the U.S. acted as a top innovator in large-scale aircraft. These following are the five largest U.S. military aircraft that have been delivering cargo, manpower, and even humanitarian aid for decades. Number 1. C-5 Super Galaxy The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a large military transport aircraft originally designed and built by Lockheed and now maintained and upgraded by its successor, Lockheed Martin. It provides the U.S. Air Force with a heavy intercontinental range strategic airlift capability, one that can carry outsized and oversized loads, including all air certifiable cargo. The Galaxy has many similarities to the smaller Lockheed C-141 Starlifter and the later Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The C-5 is among the largest military aircraft in the world. The U.S. Air Force has operated the C-5 since 1969. In that time, the airlifter supported U.S. military operations in all major conflicts, including Vietnam, Iraq, Yugoslavia, and Afghanistan, as well as allied support such as Israel during the Yom Kippur War and operations in the Gulf War. The Galaxy has also been used to distribute humanitarian aid and disaster relief and supported the U.S. space program. It can carry more cargo farther distances than any other aircraft and can haul twice as much cargo as any other airlifter. With a payload of six mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, MRAPs, or up to five helicopters, it can take off with a maximum weight of 381 tons, including a payload of 129,274 kilograms. Two, C-17 Globemaster III. Boeing C-17 Globemaster III was developed for the U.S. Air Force from the 1980s to the early 1990s by McDonnell Douglas. The C-17 carries forward the name of two previous piston-engine military cargo aircraft, the Douglas C-74 Globemaster and the Douglas C-124 Globemaster II. The C-17 commonly performs tactical and strategic airlift missions, transporting troops and cargo throughout the world. The C-17 is a strategic transport aircraft able to airlift cargo close to a battle area. The size and weight of U.S. mechanized firepower and equipment have grown in recent decades from increased air mobility requirements, particularly for large or heavy non-palletized outsized cargo. It has a length of 174 feet and a wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW100 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt & Whitney PW2040 used on the Boeing 757. Each engine is rated at 40,400 pound-feet of thrust. Maximum payload of the C-17 is 170,900 pounds, and its maximum takeoff weight is 585,000 pounds. With a payload of 160,000 pounds and an initial cruise altitude of 28,000 feet, the C-17 has an unrefueled range of about 2,400 nautical miles on the first 71 aircraft and 2,800 nautical miles on all subsequent extended range models that include a sealed center wing bay as a fuel tank. Number 2. 
3. C-130J Super Hercules In continuous production longer than any other military aircraft, the Super Hercules is manufactured by Lockheed Martin and claims more than 1.2 million logged flight hours of combat, humanitarian, special operations, aerial refueling, firefighting, and search and rescue missions around the world. This rugged aircraft can transport more than 40,000 pounds of cargo and is often the first aircraft to touch down during a mission, even able to operate out of 2,000-foot-long dirt airstrips in mountain ranges. Interestingly, this aircraft uses props rather than the jet engines of most other large cargo aircraft. The aircraft is highly flexible, with the ability to airdrop a variety of stores and paratroopers and operate from natural surface landing zones. To conduct these missions, it's vital that Hercules crews are highly skilled in low-level flying. The aircraft performs in the same roles at night using night vision goggles NVGs, while station having equipment SKE, enables it to remain in formation during poor weather. Long-range capabilities are enhanced with air-to-air -air refueling, while the air survival rescue apparatus may be mounted in the cabin for search and rescue missions enabling the Hercules to airdrop life rafts and emergency supplies. Four, B-52 Strato Fortress. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is an American long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It's been operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s. The 8-engine, 390,000-pound jet was America's first long-range and swept-wing heavy bomber. It began as an intercontinental high-altitude nuclear bomber and was later modified for low-level flight, conventional bombing, extended range flights, and transport of improved defensive and offensive equipment. The aircraft recently received technology upgrades in their communications displays, radar systems, and weapon bays, allowing them to carry smart bombs. The bomber is capable of flying at high subsonic speeds at altitudes up to 50,000 feet. It can carry nuclear or precision-guided conventional ordnance with worldwide precision navigation capability. The use of aerial refueling gives the B-52 a range limited only by crew endurance. It has an unrefueled combat range in excess of 8,800 miles. Five, KC-135 Stratotanker. The Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker is a military aerial refueling aircraft. The Stratotanker first rolled out in 1956 and for 15 years was the only tanker used by the Strategic Air Command. More than 600 of the 732 tankers built were still in service in the mid-1990s, having made 813,000 aerial refuelings of combat aircraft during the Vietnam conflict and 18,700 hookups during the Persian Gulf War. These are capable of refueling Navy and NATO aircraft, which use a probe and drogue system instead of boom and receptacle. The receiving aircraft approaches the tanker, and its probe makes contact with a hose reeled out and trailing from the tanker. Five. 